Okay, so let's check the answers and see how you did. So if we go through here, number one, our variable is x, which means we want to undo subtracting eight, and we will do that by adding eight. So our eights cancel. Zero plus eight is eight, so we get an answer of x equals eight. Number two, our variable is n. Okay, so over here with the n is a 2, so we're going to undo subtracting 2 by adding 2. Our 2's will cancel. And negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Number 3, our variable is x, so we want to move from the side that the x is on, so we're going to undo subtracting 7 by adding 7. 23 plus 7 is 30. Our 7's cancel, so we get x equals 30. Number 4, our variable is m. So we're going to undo subtracting 2.5 by adding 2.5. Okay, our 2.5's cancel. Negative 3.5 plus 2.5. You could use a calculator if you need to, but you'll get negative 1. And then over here we have the m left. So we'll have m equals negative 1. Okay, number 5. We're going to undo subtraction with addition. Okay, here's our variable, right? We're doing this on both sides. Our two-thirds cancels. So we'll do take five plus two-thirds. Again, you could use your calculator. Five plus two-thirds is five and two-thirds. If you had an answer of 17 thirds, that would be correct as well. Number six, we have two um, signs happening. So we said that two negatives would turn into a positive. So we can rewrite this equation as y plus 4 equals 8. So here's our variable. Okay, we're going to undo adding 4 by subtracting 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. Number seven, we also have two signs on, so a positive and a negative, right? We said that if there were opposite signs, that would just be a subtraction in there. Okay, so we will undo subtracting two by adding two. 15 plus two will give us x equals 17. Number eight, we have two signs. So we said two negatives, right? We're going to turn this one into addition. Make sure we get the negative three-fourths. Okay, so here's our variable. We're going to undo adding one-half by subtracting one-half. Okay, my guess is that we had to put this in our calculator to do that, which is fine. Just make sure when you type this in, you do your negative three-fourths, right? So you have this in your calculator minus one half. Okay, we'll get negative one and one fourth. You could also have this as negative 1.25 or negative five over four. If you got all of these correct, then you're ready to move on to solving one-step equations by um, multiplication and division.